Good morning, everyone. It's Pastor Tim Hammy, First Assembly of God in Burlington, Kansas. How are you doing? Yep, it is the morning again. So, well, praise the Lord. It is the 20th of, of December. I'm just excited. It is the 20th and we're just uh, coming closer to Christmas. And this is the last devotional for this week. Next week's going to be kind of exciting because um, we'll be doing some devotionals from a different place. So um, that should be exciting. Good morning, Beth. Matthew 5, 16 is the verse for today, and uh, it says, In the same way, let your light shine before others so that they may see your good works and give glory to the Father who is in heaven. So I was reading this this morning, and I was, I was like, okay. When it said good works, I went, oh, I know. We cannot, works is not the things that save us. That is right. We're not saved by our good works. But then it goes on, it says, so that they give glory to the Father which is in heaven. It's right. That is that is so right. So that the things that we do, the things that our life that we live gives honor to the Lord and that it draws people to the Lord. And I'm like, that's so correct. That is so right. That our life may be a light that people will see and, and want to and desire to have a relation with Christ. Um, so it's so important that we live a life that people want to have a relationship with Christ. Uh, and so I just, um, in the very beginning it says, let your light shine. Man, we live in a, that's, I use this in, a, in, in just a way that we live in, there's a dark world, you know, and let your light shine. Uh, remember this, um, don't hide your light on a bushel, no, that old little song that you used to sing in Sunday school, you know, this little light of mine, that's what the name of the song is. Um, let your light so shine, you know, wherever you're at, whatever you're doing, let your light shine, man, wherever you're at, man, just let it shine every single day with Christ in your life, uh, so that they may see your good works, may, that they may see that Christ is in you, that they may see that the love of Jesus is in you, that, because, you have this great opportunity to literally um, let people know that Jesus lives in you. Um, we were talking last night in Bible study that there is no one, well, I feel that there is no one that is so far gone that they can't be reached for Jesus. And, uh, sorry, uh, that there are, you know, people go, oh, I'm sorry, they they're, they left the church, they left this, that, you know, they're living life of sin, they're this, that. Well, you know what? My belief is it, they still can be reached for Christ. We just have to be bold enough to tell them Will we get cussed out? Maybe. Will we get told that we're crazy? Maybe. I'm just thinking, man, if we stand up for Christ, um, there's one statement, that if you don't stand up for something, you'll fall for everything, you know? And so I'm just thinking, man, let your light shine for Christ. Let let your light shine before others. Let, let your light shine. Good morning, Mom. And and be a testimony, be a witness for Christ wherever you're at. 
So that is the verse um, this morning. Give glory to your Father who is in heaven. Let your light be a glory to the Lord. So here's the verse this morning. Write it out. Matthew 5, 16. In the same way, let your light shine before others so that they may see your good works and give glory to the Father who is in heaven. Write that verse out. Put an O, observe it. A, apply it to your life. P, pray. As you know, this is the last devotional for this week. And next week, we'll be doing devotionals from somewhere else. And so uh, that should be fun. And uh, we'll see how that works. So uh, that should be fun. And so let's pray. Lord, I thank you so much for today. I pray that you bless um, uh, those that are watching now and those that watch later. I pray that you encourage them. Give them a great day. I pray that, Lord, that you just, uh, I pray for the unspoken, Lord God, that whether it's health, I pray that you heal. If it's finances, Lord, that you take care of. Um, and whatever it may be, Lord, that you, you just uh, move on those, Lord. I pray that, Lord, that you just do something great. Lord, I pray that you help us to be a blessing to those that we come in contact. And, Lord, that you help us to share the gospel with somebody. Lord, we thank you for that in your name. Amen. So, uh, be blessed today. And uh, if you live in Coffee County, come join us for a service on Sunday, 1030. We're having our pre-pre-Christmas Eve service. And, uh, and uh, it should be fun. So, God bless you. Love you guys. We'll talk to you soon. Have a great day.